Okay, but let's talk a little bit about the theater mode. What did we think about it, chat? Definitely more casual friendly, which just goes to show that despite there being new end game or new permanent content, they are just main focusing on casuals, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Actually, it's just not a bad thing. Um, they are trying to please their core audience, it seems. So that's the thing. It's going to reset once every month and it has affected Spiral Abyss. A Spiral Abyss is also now just going to be once a month. So despite there being an increase in rewards, in primo gems for spiral abyss by 200 that ends up being less overall because we don't get spiral abyss reset every two weeks we get it once a month instead and if we were to calculate the amount of primo gems we get from um imaginarium uh theater imaginarium and spiral abyss per month compared to when we just had spiral abyss every two weeks every month we get a grand total of 200 primo gems more per month compared to when we just had spiral abyss which is an improvement but when you think about it just being like one extra wish per month than usual, I think it's a little lacking. I think people that didn't really pay attention to the special program would have expected that Spiral Abyss would reset every two weeks, plus the bonus 200 Primo Gems and then have um, Theater Imaginarium um, on top of all of that to get even more Primo Gems. And that would have been really nice. And considering how easy, in my opinion, uh, Theater Imaginarium or whatever the thing is called is, I don't think it should be once a month. I feel like one of these two should be every two weeks to give us more primo gems than locking it behind once a month and alternating between the two. Even if it means that Spiral Abyss or the Theater Imaginarium is exactly the same for twice in a row. I also do wonder if they're going to make this opportunity to make Spiral Abyss even harder now that it gives us more primo gems and that it's once a month. I do expect have some expectations that they're actually going to rotate the enemies every new cycle of Spiral Abyss now instead of doing it every couple of rounds like they have been doing now that there is a bigger gap. I personally don't- I personally hope that Spiral Abyss doesn't get harder uh, because their way of making it harder is kind of just not the way I would want to have things harder because they just- it just ends up being a specific elemental check or just being able to beat the waves uh, fast enough before the timer runs out, which I don't find difficult or challenging. It's just a DPS check or an elemental check. Oh, those are my those are my uh, opinions on it. I, I I do I do not hate Theater Imaginarium. I don't care that it seems to cater more to a casual audience. I do wish that they, as people in chat have been saying, that they did give um us more of a chance to select more characters from our friends list i would have preferred two so that you can select one main dps and one support type of character instead of just one single one i don't think it would have made would make much of a difference for people that are ar60 and have enough characters built maybe a little stacked for people that don't have a lot of characters built or are still early in the game but if you're early in the game you shouldn't expect to be able to beat that content yet in my opinion. Oh, that seems to be my two cents on on it. Oh. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below.